The topic of feminine energy is gaining a lot of interest nowadays, especially here on YouTube and the internet. However, there are a lot of things that are being spoken about that are totally wrong. So today I want to bust the three top myths that women and men are sharing about what feminine energy is. So stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Erin Kurt and I am a spiritual teacher who assists women around the world in how to both live and manifest with feminine energy, with profound confidence and with ease. So if that interests you, please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive all of my teachings every single week. All right, let's get started. So the first myth about feminine energy is that it is always a soft energy. It is always a gentle energy. It is always a calm and nurturing energy. Now you're getting it right if you've learned that yes, those are characteristics of feminine energy, but it is not the full definition. If you've ever heard me talk about it on my free masterclass that I do, Speaking of, I'll put a link in the description box below. I speak about feminine energy being much like a rose. A rose has this softness to it. It's almost like velvety. It has a gorgeous, full-bodied, inviting look about it. And its smell is so beautiful and welcoming. You just want to go into a rose and smell it, correct? This goes along with the softness that everybody's talking about in terms of feminine energy. The warmth that the feminine energy exudes, the nurturing and the love and acceptance that the feminine gives. That is the part that is true, yet it has missed out one of the parts of that flower. The stem, the stalk, what does a rose have? A very firm, with spikes, stem. And that too is part of feminine energy. And I call that her strong back. So she's got a soft front and a strong back. This strong back is the essence of her that knows her worth. She has embodied it. She commands that worth, that value. And therefore, she knows how to set boundaries, not in an aggressive way, but in a way that is very strong in knowing what she will accept and what she won't accept in her life. So let's change the dynamic on what feminine energy is on that level. The next energy that is very much associated and propagated in the feminine energy community is one that explains feminine energy as being chaotic and can change very rapidly. Likes to flow with things, right? How does she feel? Again, this is true. And we are not just made up of feminine energy. Just like everything in nature has feminine and masculine qualities within it. Yes, plants and flowers have masculine and feminine parts to them. We too have that. And that is how nature works best. Being and doing from their feminine energy, which is this flowing, how do I feel nature, which can change and can be kind of chaotic. Yet, in order for that to create the kind of life we want for ourselves, the one we say we want, we have to use that 20% masculine energy. You'll see a lot of times that there'll be a lot of very spiritual women talking about feminine energy and it's very fluid and fluid and soft and let's just go with the flow and yet are they able to take action or do they procrastinate? Do they use this flowing thing as a way of not getting things done? Let me give you an example of how this feeling can create instability for yourself and others. So I have a dentist and I love my dentist. I resonate with her very much. She's got more of a soft touch. She loves beauty. 
Um, she uses top, top notch strategies. She's always wanting to do the best for her clients. So I love it. And when I say, I really can't make an appointment, she says, yes, but you need to come there. And then I say, okay, I'll figure it out and I'll send you the time that I can be there. I show up there the next day at that time and she doesn't arrive in the office until 30 minutes later, like just shows up. Yes, she shows up with a warm smile, yet she created an environment that didn't make me feel safe. And I had to wonder, is she going to come? Is she not? I have to get my kids back to school. They have exams. They're going to miss their exam. What are we going to do? What if traffic happens? Like, that's not okay. Do you see what I mean? So yes, the feminine is flowing, but they also recognize that they do have masculine. And that is the part that creates the action, that creates the container of safety, that has that little bit of a structure that allows things to move in a way that feels good for everyone. And finally, let me share with you one of the myths about feminine energy that is really all over the internet, particularly on YouTube. That feminine energy is about creating a magnetism so that you can attract a man and keep him wanting you. Again, if we go back to my symbolism of the rose, you standing with that strong back, that confidence, that full-bodied knowingness of your value and your worth, when you do vibrate this sense of warmth and softness and nurturing and love and compassion, and that is very magnetic. Yes, that is very attractive to a man. They will rise up and be in their highest masculine when you are that. Yet you don't do it for that purpose. You do it because you know you're of worth. You know you're of value. And whoever comes into your space is worthy of that. And I welcome in those energies that are a match to me because I know that's going to bring me joy. I know that's going to bring me peace. I know that's going to bring me bliss and really be a beautiful merging of harmonious energies. All of this effort when you're doing something just for a result is you being actually too much in your masculine. It's you doing something to achieve a result. That's not feminine, okay? So I hope this clears up some of the myths that's going around there about what feminine energy is, what feminine confidence is. That's my specialty. Then please do, again, join us in this community. Click the subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss a video from me sharing how you can be more authentically in your feminine energy. It makes a massive difference to your happiness to your inner peace and to your ability to, yes, manifest exactly what you want. That is for sure. On that note, make it an elegant week and I will see you next time.